But you really are making too much out of this. You robbed us. There's no reason to call off the wedding, is it? It's not like I did it on purpose. So you accidentally hired some thugs, did you? Oh, well, easy mistake to make. Happens to me all the time. How many times do I have to tell you I didn't know you'd be in the van? So why do it in the first place? You haven't pulled a job like that for years. Oh, I thought I'd be an easy load to shift. How did you even know what it was? I saw it on your worksheet. It wasn't on any worksheet. Dennis double-crossed us, didn't he? You might not have meant to kidnap Mum, but you deliberately set out to rip us off. You've got it wrong. I, I was planning to sell the gear and give you all the cash. you regular Robin Hood. That way, you wouldn't have to share the profit with anyone. I did it for you, kid. If that's true, then why didn't you actually bother to tell us? I figured that you might accidentally give the game away. <sighs> Look, I was always going to cut you in. If I hadn't have found out you were doing a deal, you would have never told me what was going on. That's what all this is about, isn't it? You couldn't let us pull it off on our own because then we might realise that we don't actually need you controlling our I lives. I was trying to help you! No, you weren't. You were trying to be the big boss as usual. Well, do you know what? You can boss someone else from now on because I've had enough. Where are you going? Oh, you worried that I'm going to run straight to Nickel and tell him the truth? Well, he won't believe you. I think you were trying to set him up all along. Just chill out for a few days. I will get rid of the gear and I promise I will sort you out. You better. Otherwise, never mind, Nikhil. I'll go straight to the police. That's two relationships you've ruined for the sake of a few sat-navs. Well, I hope it was worth it. Hey, up. I thought you lot would be unpacking boxes all night. Oh, we've done enough. So we thought we'd have a nice warming party instead. Eh? Aren't you supposed to have that in the actual house itself? Yeah, we, we couldn't find any of the booze. <laughs> or glasses. Or chairs. Right, come on then, I'll get your celebration. Oh, right. Ooh, make it five, will you? Hey, does that mean I don't get one? Well, you've nothing to celebrate. Hey, come on, he's my dad. I have six, please. I'm sure he'll come round eventually. Oh, if you go down, he'll probably never talk to us again. Oh, let's hope it don't come to that, then, eh? Uh, hey, pop a few buttons, keep the judge an eye full, you'll be home free. So you think. Oh, it'd work on me. Oh, anything works on you. <laughs> hey, look, you know, for what it's worth, you're the last person in the world I'd want to cause bother. I know. So I take you haven't said anything to him? Well, as tempting as it is to see you both locked up, I want my share of the cash. Hey, it's not my fault your dad's a control freak. You're both as bad as each other, Mum. Oh, Bob, if you're trying to get me to play your lottery, I'm skint. You always will be if you think like that. <laughs> I've been trying to call you all day. Yeah, well, I thought you might have got the hint when I didn't answer the tenth time. But I'm not going to let this drop. I want my money back. Yeah, so do I. But there's not much I can do about it, is there? Oh. <laughs> Hiya. How's oh, something? I oh, fist asleep by the time I left him with Chess. He's missed you putting him to bed. He can't wait for you to move back. I don't know when that will be. Well, I'll come with the van tomorrow if you like. I, I know you've only got one bag, but it saves you having to shift it, it yourself. It doesn't feel right moving back when I'm the reason he's in trouble. Huh? Hey, you weren't the one who left the load of knocked off gear in the van. As far as I'm concerned, you are both welcome to move back. Hey, she can. But I'm not having that walking disaster anywhere near the place. He can't stay at Jenny's forever. Hmm? Yeah, Kate and Lila are getting sick of him walking in on the mouth dressed. Yeah, well, they should love the door. I want it to be a family home again, Zach. And like it or not, he will always be a part of that. Hmm? Not if we're just showing him. Look, I don't blame you for being mad, but I swear I will never let you down again. No man the girls in the undercrackers can make up for me, oh no. Look, I've got enough on my plate without you two going on. Please, give him a chance. You even look at me in the wrong way and you're out on your ear. I don't know how they all fit into their place. I think they take it in turns to sleep in the barn. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> I take it Debbie didn't have a word with Nick Hill? No. Then she'll probably never speak to you ever again, either. Well, I think she'll change her mind when she sees her share of the cash. Well, I think that she won't, and nor will I. You don't mean that. I must have needed my head test in agreeing to marry you. But, you know, I thought, well, for better or worse, we're two of a kind. Oh, well, we are. So then why didn't you respect me enough to tell me the truth? Hey? 
Do you see that? I hope it flaming chokes you. Are they splitting up again? Well, I don't know why anyone believes that they've lived happily ever after. They always find a way to mess things up. 